Hey folks, welcome back to River Rat Gear Review, where we talk all things whitewater and the gear you need to get on the river. Today, I'm gonna to be taking a look at a couple's sleep system for the river. This is a system we've used for a number of years, and we just recently added some roller cots, which really help boost the comfort level on this sleep system. So let's dive in and take a look at the best couple's sleep system for the river. <music> So here we are setting up our sleep system on the middle fork at one of our camps. First we always lay down our sea gear sand mat. This is the 8x8 size medium and it fits both our cots and allows a little bit of a sidewalk on each side for us to stand up and change and do whatnot. Um, we just recently got these camp time roller cots. They're a little bit finicky when you first try to figure out how to set them up but once you get the hang of it we both got pretty quick at assembling these and it really took us barely any time to get them up and they are super comfortable especially when you put a Paco pad on top. It's also nice that the carrying case doubles as a side pocket on the cots and actually I found this quite useful over the course of a 14 day trip and I found myself wanting to set it up every single time so that I had access to my water bottle or hat or socks or whatever. Next up while setting up our sleep system we always do the Pacos. These are two Moravia silverback pads the silverback pads are 4 inches thick by 26 inches wide by 76 inches long and we found that they fit the cots perfectly. And once the silverback pads are filled with air, we close the valves and then add our Thermarest down coupler. This is the size large that we use to keep both silverback pads together while on the cots. This allows us to sleep side by side and also makes it feel like we're in a queen bed. It's also really nice because it adds a layer of fabric between you and the pad, which is really comfortable. And on hot nights, it's actually very comfortable and does not allow you to sweat against the pad. We then have our pillows. These are a couple REI camp pillows, as well as some Sea to Summit down Eros pillows that we recently got. Up next is our sleeping bags. We keep these in Sea to Summit dry bags inside our watershed dry bag. Worst case scenario, if I were to wrap or to flip and the bag were to leak, at least our sleeping bags would remain dry and we'd be able to stay warm throughout the night. These two bags are a Mountain Hardware 650 fill negative 20 degree down bags that we've had for a number of years and have never ever been cold in them. We take these on any shoulder season cold weather trip and will continue to do so because they are so warm and have never failed us. So that's the entire setup. This particular setup with the cots is extremely comfortable and has really allowed me to get a better night's sleep on the river and I wake up in the morning without having a sore back or a sore hip due to sleeping on the ground. So there you have it. That's our sleep system that we've used for a number of years. Like I said, we just upgraded to the cots. We just went down a 14 day trip. It was super comfortable. I kind of can't believe that I never used them before. They're a little bit heavy, but honestly, they're not that much more weight and they really stow away pretty quick. The whole system together is pretty quick to set up. Under eight minutes, we can set this up every time, no problem. And we get to sleep out under the stars in full comfort on the river. So if you found this video helpful, please subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, and as always, see you on the next one.